Hello, my dear friends. James Fantastic Hepler here. So happy to have you right by our side. Hope you'll stop by and say hello to us at jamesfantastic.com. Join us on the Monetize Your Voice podcast. And of course, visit us at mrfantastic.live. When you do that, we'll send you five free simple tips to up-leveling your communication skills. Everything in life, my dear friend, is about taking the next step and literally and figuratively being in this magical minute. And the more that we can train ourselves, can train our brains to not obsess about yesterday and to not fret and worry about tomorrow. I am learning at, at my very, very young age. I am learning every day, every day in every way. I am better, 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 and better than ever before. Now, I have been repeating that, oh my gosh, probably three years. I've said it tens of thousands of times. And I am seeing it in my life. And one of the things I want to encourage you to really focus. I mean, all the teachings of all the great sages since the beginning of time tell us to live in this magical moment. Enjoy every magical minute while you're in it. That's from James Fantastic Hepler. Enjoy every magical minute while you're in it. When we do that, everything else just kind of melts away because we're here. We're right here, just like you and I are talking to each other at, at this magical minute in time. We aren't thinking and obsessing over the monuments we built to yesterday or last week or last year's mistake or mistakes. Yeah, we're not wasting the energy that shoulda, coulda, woulda. Why didn't I? I almost did. So I want to share this with you from the writings of Emmett Fox, one, one of, one of the, um, I should say one of my great mentors and an amazing and amazing human being has contributed so much to society. I'm, I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying my best, my dear friend to emulate this, this man it's been amazing. He's been gone for over 70 years as of the recording of uh, our get together. This title is called Cut My Own Throat. Think about that. Cut My Own Throat. A man came to see me in London in great distress. He had attended some lectures I gave and wanted advice. He was the owner of a general grocery store in the village in the south part of England, and hitherto there had been no competition. Now, one of the big chain stores was opening a branch almost opposite to him in the main street, and he was in a panic. Think about that. He said, how can I compete with them? I am ruined. I said, you know the great law? 
You know where your supply comes from? Why be afraid? He said, I must do something. I said, stand in your shop each morning and bless it by claiming the divine power that works through it for great prosperity and peace for all concerned. He nodded his head in agreement. And then I added, then look down the street to where they are fitting up the new store and bless that in the same way. What? Cut my own throat, he almost screamed. I explained that what blesses one blesses all. I told him that he was really hating his competitor through fear and that his hatred would destroy him while blessing the, quote, enemy, unquote, was the way to get rid of hate. I finished by saying, you cannot cut your throat with prayer. You can only improve everything. It took some time to persuade him, but as he got the idea, and when I met with him several years later, he told me that his business had been better than ever since that chain store came to town, and that it seemed to be getting on well, too. This is based on the scripture. This is what Jesus meant when he said, love your enemies. That's from Luke 6.27. So isn't this marvelous? Isn't this just an absolutely marvelous, marvelous teaching? But when we don't want the best, for whoever, our friends, what we might think or presume could be or would be our enemies, never works out. Hatred, hatred never, never wins. It never does anything worthwhile. So let us bless and pray for those who we think are our enemies, those who we might think might want to hurt us because we never know until we ask. We only assume. And coming up soon, we're going to be doing podcast on the four agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. I want to thank you so very much for your kindness of joining us here at the monetize your voice podcast and checking us out at jamesfantastic.com and also Mr. Fantastic live. We're here to serve you. I, 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 I know that sounds um, plain, blase, um, old fashioned, old hat, just this wonderful fedora I'm wearing. Well, it doesn't matter what you want to look at it. I'm giving that to you from my heart. And our team at jamesfantastic.com. Uh, fortunately, we've been blessed to be on the same wavelength, and we know the value. We know the power. We know the power of our desire to serve. And I would encourage you, in everything that you do in life, have that desire to serve. Have that desire to help. 
with a smile, with a friendly hello and a, a wave of how are you doing? How can I help? I can tell you from many, many decades of experience, that particular mindset has blessed me exponentially, exponentially, young people, exponentially. Join us again the next time around here on the Monetize Your Voice podcast. Check us out at jamesfantasy.com. And remember about those five free simple steps to up-leveling your communication skills at mrfantastic.live. mrfantastic.live. I hope that you are focusing on being and enjoying every miraculous minute while you're in it. Until next time, please choose to make today the most fantastic day of your life.